Every year there are sleeper sneakers that come out and they just fly under the radar and I think this is one of them. Today we're going to be talking about the Yellow Ochre Air Jordan 1 High OG. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now before we get started breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of this beautiful shoe, we got to talk about the history first. Back in 1985, Michael Jordan introduced the Air Jordan 1s in 16 different colorways, highs and lows. And this is definitely not one of those colorways. Back in 2015, we saw the Air Jordan 1 come back by popular demand in the high OG in a new modern day retro cut and one shoe in particular that everybody glorified the Chicago one ever since that moment on there has been more and more hype building up for the Air Jordan ones and now today in current time we have this shoe but recently over the past couple years the hype for Air Jordan ones has slowly fizzled off and we're starting to see sneakers like this just sitting on shelves everywhere now is that a problem no did the retail price go up yes is the economy in a crazy spot right now yes but I feel like if you're on the fence about this shoe maybe at the end of the video you might consider copping them. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can give you guys an in-depth look. And here we have it. Now this is another switch up, but I like it. They're making the box match the shoe, which is something that we see happen pretty often these days when it comes to the retros. You got your all over sale on the lid, and it's gonna be kind of like in that matte finish and on the sides of the box throughout. And then on the front right here, it says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Yellow Ochre Black sale size 13 just for me and retail on these was hundred and eighty dollars and they are still sitting everywhere so flipping open the lid right here you have your all white paper you got some more white paper and then the shoe is actually wrapped in the white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe all right you guys initial first impressions of this sneaker when I saw these online I knew for a fact I had to have them. We're talking about Go Steelers, first off, Go Ducks. These go align, it aligns with both. I know it's not exactly the yellow for Ducks, but either way, you can still wear it, you know what I'm saying? But I just liked them and I was excited about it. And I saw a lot of other people were excited about the shoe, but then for some reason, that excitement didn't show too much when they came out. So like typical fashion, we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up. Then we'll get into the comparisons and the poll results and everything like that when it comes to the market. Looking at the outsole, you got your classic modern day Air Jordan 1 retro OG bottom. And then going up to the midsole, that's gonna be an all sale with a sale stitch. And then to the upper. This is gonna be a mixture of essentially three, one, two, three materials. Yeah, I'm gonna say three materials on this upper. So when it comes to the majority of the shoe covered in the ochre colorway, that's gonna be more similar to like a thinner suede or a nubuck. Right here, this little hang tag says, please note, the upper material is nubuck leather. There you go, perfect. So you have a nubuck leather right here on the upper. And then on the other parts of the shoe, when it comes to the vamp and the side panels on the inside and outside of the foot, that's gonna be in your sail color. And that's gonna be more of a tumbled leather. And honestly, it feels pretty solid. Does it feel the best? No, but it feels pretty solid and it aligns with the shoe. It does feel like the shoe is not as cheap. But one thing that does feel really cheap on this shoe is actually the Nike swoosh. This doesn't feel anything like the collar on the back end of the foot. This is real soft, real buttery. It's got that tumble to it. Got that grain to it and it's more of a matte black and then on the swoosh it's actually a little bit shinier and it's more flat it's harder it's plasticky and it doesn't feel like it aligns with the sneaker so I feel like when they were developing this shoe they're like hey we can cut some cost on the swoosh and still have it look similar so I think that's what they probably did again I don't know but that's what it looks like when it comes to the overall materials and how the swoosh just kind of like isn't making the cut now one feature that I really like about this shoe which I will be showing you some differences with the UN and C ones on the Air Jordan wings logo right here. You got that raised wings logo with the matte black finish on there with the Air Jordan branding on the top. And that's something that I really like how they implemented on the Air Jordan ones when it comes to the 85 series as well. So whenever I see them add that to the high OG cuts, I think that's a dope touch. Now these come standard with a pair of all black flat laces. And I think there was an additional pair of lace. Oh, here we go. So you got the move to zero packaging with the cardboard and then you have your sale colored laces, the flat laces that go along with this shoe. Let me know which laces you guys would prefer down below in the comment section. Now you have your all over sale colored mesh and then onto the top of the tongue, you have a yellow ochre tab with the black Nike Air branding in the middle of that. Going to the collar on the inside of the foot, you have all black with that material. And then on the sock liner, you have your yellow ochre with the black Nike Air branding. So overall, that's a pretty solid look at the sneaker. Now let's go ahead and get into some details comparisons against the UNC ones and we also have to compare these against the yellow ochre sixes all right you guys now these shoes look really similar to the untrained sneaker head eye 
But when you start comparing them, you start to realize there's a lot of differences. And I know that, again, every shoe is not the same, which is perfectly fine. It's just interesting how people use similarities and use the comparison. So I think this is a great comparison for today's video because this sneaker was so glorified and all the different things. And I get it, it's UNC over the yellow. So I can understand that aspect just off of the coloring of the shoe. But at the same time, remember like when these came out, like everybody was going crazy in the shoe game. And now look at where the market's at, sitting on shelves. They were selling for less than the retail value before they even came out. So looking at the outsoles right here, you can see on the bottom of the UNC pair, it's actually a lot more vibrant than the actual upper and the materials on the shoe. Compared to the yellow ochre, they're a lot more similar to the materials on the upper. Now when it comes to the midsole, you have a sail colored midsole, you have a pure white. And then when it comes to the leather, same thing. You got a pure white right here and a sail right here. Now when I'm feeling the materials on these two sneakers, you can see like the grain on the two shoes, they do look a little bit different, but overall the feel and the touch on the two shoes, they feel pretty similar. Like I, I don't feel like it's so drastic where one is better than the other, like crazy knocking it out of the park type thing. Now, when it comes to the materials on the uppers on these two shoes, same thing. They feel very, very similar. Even the cuts and how they went about it. The coloring, they brought the pure white and the sail color here. And then on the tongues, they did the color of, you see the shoe, they did that here with the black text and then they actually did a black tab with the color of the shoe with the UNC colored Nike Air branding right here. And then also on the sock liners, you have a yellow ochre sock liner here and then a black sock liner here on the UNC color. Now, one thing I was talking about earlier in the video was the materials and the switch ups on the swoosh and around the collar on the back end of the shoe. Remember when I said it felt like they were kind of skimping out? If you look at the material right here on the UNC pair, look at the thickness of it. Look at the cut, look at the material, how it's textured. And I don't know, you guys can't feel it, but hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. The difference between those two alone, you can see they didn't slack on that area of the shoe. And then also around the collar, you can see it's really nice. It's tumbled, it's thick, it feels soft. This feels soft as well. It's just a different kind of tumble to it. But definitely the big thing that I noticed was the swooshes on here and then the Jumpman Wings logo. You see this one's more embossed and stamped in on the UNC pair. And then on the yellow ochre pair, you can see that it's raised up with the Wings logo. So two completely different vibes on that aspect as well. The shoes are similar, but again, very, very different. Now when it comes to these compared to the yellow ochre sixes that recently came out, there's gonna be similarities. Obviously the colors do look similar, but you can see that the Jordan one is a lot darker when it comes to the yellow and then the materials are way different on these two it's got more of a stiff and firm feel on the yellow material and on these is a lot more softer and buttery and then this shoe is more of a cell tone to it and this one's more of a pure white when it comes to the 60s so just putting those two shoes side by side but it also lets you guys remember too at the same time like the materials are different there's different aspects to that so why they don't look exactly the same but we got to remember too the cool gray threes, the cool gray fours, the cool gray nines, all those different stuff. If you put all those together, they don't look exactly the same. So I like how they're a part of the same family, but they all they all got their you know uniqueness to them when it comes to the little miniature set. So if you guys didn't know already, I post a poll on my Instagram story and then I get the results and I post them here on the channel. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG and then you can participate in the polls and see the results here. 63% of the people chose fire and 37% of the people chose trash. So that's a majority rules, but at the same time, still kind of a low score, I get that. What do you guys think down below in the comment section? How do those poll results reflect this sneaker after seeing more detailed shots? Is this something that you wanna add to your collection? Is this something that you're still holding out? Is this something that you just don't like at all? I would love to hear it down below. And please don't just say the shoe is trash. Like, tell me why it's trash. Give me some reasons why. Also, just for fun, I compared these against the UNC ones just to see what people think. And this is what they said. 88% of the people chose the UNCs and 12% of the people chose the yellow ochres, which I get, but I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a landslide, but I get why the UNC ones won. But the thing that was actually even funnier was I did a poll just on the UNC one and 88% of the people said it was fire and 12% of the people said it was trash. So that was also pretty funny because it was a separate poll, but it had the same exact results. So that makes me question, was the exact same 12% of the people, the same 12% of the people that thought these were the better? So now when it comes to the market on this sneaker, what is going on? These things are sitting on shelves everywhere. If you go to sneaker app they're available in every single size $180 for a pair of Air Jordan 1's I don't care which colorway it is 
is a lot of money and I understand. We call this a buyer's market. This is a good time to get all the shoes you love for an affordable price. So if you're a sneakerhead and you're out there worried about what everybody else think, please don't do that. Just get what you like because if you like this shoe, I'm telling you right now, these things are nice. I got them in hand. They're not the greatest of all time or anything, but I can say this is definitely a very nice shoe. I'm excited to have these in my collection and I was definitely excited to give you guys this review. So excited that I actually had to shoot this video twice. <laughs> I shot it the first time a couple weeks ago and there was no audio. My mic wasn't plugged in. So I'm reshooting this video for a second time because I like these. That's all I'm saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Ready? Stay tuned, we got plenty more dope stuff. Ooh, actually, let me give you guys a sneak peek of something real quick. Since we're on the topic of Air Jordans and the yellow ochre colorway, it's similar, it's close, and you know I'm a Steelers fan. Joe Hayden, what's up? Go Steelers, that's all I'm saying. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video, I wanna take your collection to the next level. I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you wanna be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely gonna be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. It's in my DNA, hey, the hey, only hey, choice hey, I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA